Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evan Velisera. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. To somebody hear me. That grave will not hold. Mm. That grave will not hold. Don't be afraid. This is a message of hope to someone. Yeah. The grave will not hold. Mm. That grave, that spell that they cast to kill you, to kill your loved ones, or to kill your finances, your joy, your head, the grave will not hold. The spell, it will not stand. The Bible says there is no enchantment against the people of God, no divination against you. We are not saying they should not cast spell. Let them cast the spell. Let them cast the spell. We are not afraid. Mm, let them dig the grave, but the grave will not swallow you. Those that cast spell, they shall use their own head to carry their spell. The Bible says, no weapon from a fashion against us that will prosper. The grave will not hold. You know, the spell they cast, it backfires again. <laughs> you know, there are some messages you see, you are like God. <laughs> They keep casting the spell. The spell of dizziness. Yeah. Spell of oppression. Spell of irritation. You know, you just feel irritated for no reason. Because they want to feel that joy, that love that you feel. When the enemy wants to kill the love of somebody, they will cast the spell of irritation. That is why you see some couple, they start feeling irritated with each other. This life is spiritual. In case you are hearing me, you have, you have found yourself in any of those things. When you start feeling irritated with, by your, your own husband or wife. Not that they offended you. If they offended you, they hurt you. Maybe they have killed the emotion. It is understanding because some persons are in that situation. They are not trying to rebuild, you know. Maybe because of what the man did or because of what the woman did. So the emotion, the love died. No, I'm not talking about that one. But this one, they did not offend you. Suddenly you woke up, you are feeling irritated towards somebody that you know they love you. Apart from being in couple, couple situation, even in friendship, business, jobs, you know that this person likes me. Or suddenly you woke up, there is an irritation. I don't know why the Spirit of the Lord is just diverting uh, my heart to this very area. That is a spell. A spell of irritation. You know, to stop people from recognizing you, to help you. For, it is even you now that will not start running away from people who want to help you. You just start, you just see them, you, do, you, you are no longer interested in them anymore. Yeah. I don't know, I can't go to that manager. I can't go to that place and pray. No, that is re irritation just come from nowhere. <laughs> you pray against it. The Bible says men ought to pray and not to faint. And if we are fainting, I pray God we are waking us again. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The spell they cast by fire, the spell of death. To kill when I when as I'm speaking about the spell of death, well, this is what the Lord is telling me. It's not about just being buried. The spell of death can be around around the life, the things that somebody have. Maybe the spell of death in marriage that will cause irritation for you to hate and kill the love and just hate each other. The spell of death in finances for everything to just become uh, somebody who just. Is it, is it bankruptcy they call it when the person no longer have anything a dormant account and all of that you know joy spell they just cast the spell you know their grave will not hold this is the message 
Hallelujah. We know they dig their pit. Child of God know they dig their pit. But the spell backfire again. If they have swallowed before, <laughs> hear me, they will not swallow again. They will not swallow again. The Bible says in Psalm chapter 7, in verse 15, the Bible says he made a pit. In case you are asking yourself, okay, what is going on? He made a pit. The book of Psalm 7, verse 15. He made a pit and dig it. An enemy have done this. Yes. An enemy have digged a pit. An enemy have made a pit. And he have digged the pit. But that same pit that the enemy dig, the Bible says, is falling into the dish which he made. On the line that's made statement, he proposed the, the, the pit. He made it. And he's the one that dig it. And he's still the one that is falling into the dish which he has made. So that is to tell you that in your life, the spell cannot settle there. The spell cannot settle there. Hallelujah. In verse 16, the Bible says, His mischief shall return upon his own head. He said his mischief, his mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pit. Hallelujah. His violent dealing shall come down upon his own pit. But for you who they dig the grave for, hear what the Bible says. You will praise the Lord. The Bible said, let the living praise the Lord. So you will be a living that will praise the Lord. He said, you will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. And we sing praise to the name of the Lord most high. So though they cast out the spell, you will praise the Lord. Because the spell backfire again. You got away. You get away. Yes. <laughs> ah, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. You see all of that proposals of the enemy to cast the spell. I said, Jesus is Lord. You see the way as I was speaking, the next thing the Spirit of the Lord said, Yes, He's Lord. And the Bible says, every name shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes, child of God, he's Lord. The spell cannot settle. You might be asking yourself, why am I having the symptoms? The truth is that all of that symptoms... All of that symptom, it is a networking. It is for you to know that there is something going on in the realm of the spirit. If the symptoms will not kill you, the very moment you feel the symptom, you will not die in it. For you to feel it, it means that something, they are touching buttons somewhere. Your own is to pray and praise the Lord. So that I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. And we, and we sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. Their mischief has returned upon them. Child of God, that grave will not hold. I am praying for somebody. No spell will settle upon your life. No satanic spell will settle upon your life. That irritation, you overcome it now. Yes, that irritation. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. 
And I love you with the love of Christ. I remember your sister, Evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.